welcome back to art class with Miss Chris. Today we're going to draw a hammerhead shark. And um, I really like drawing hammerhead sharks and sharks in general. And uh, so what you're gonna need for this project is, I have like a drawing pencil. This is a light pencil. So a number two pencil would be great. Also, if you have a 6B pencil, that would be great for, I'm gonna do some shading today. A blending stick. Um, of course, I always have an eraser nearby and a eraser. All right, so here we go. So the first thing I think of when I draw a hammerhead shark is the sh I, I draw it in sections. So we're gonna draw the shape of a body. And um, I have another video that I can um, send to you on Schoology 2 and I'll, I'll post it as well. It's a great white shark, but I always start my shark drawings the same. So I'm gonna draw first a shape that's gonna kind of look like, I'm gonna call it a potato. So I'm gonna draw right here and I'm going light right now. This is my light pencil. So I'm gonna draw my potato. Kind of in the middle of my paper. See, great baked potato. Just kidding, but anyways, you can see that. So then on the back of my potato, I'm gonna come in like so. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna come on the end of the potato and I'm gonna get smaller. And back here is gonna be where I develop the tail of the hammerhead, okay? Now the front of the shark, this will be the back. The front of the shark, I'm gonna bring this in just like so. And I'm gonna bring this part in to kind of a, a curve. So this is gonna be the front and we're gonna draw the, the hammerhead sharks, um, the eyes on the hammer part of the forehead and then the tail here. So once I get a shape like this, I am now going to erase the inside and I'm going to develop my shark all around this. Now hammerhead sharks are different because of the front of the shark, the hammer, and they have eyes on either side of their heads. They can see up and down at the same time when they're swimming. And the hammer, which we're gonna work on right now, it makes their hunting it's it's used for hunting and eyesight and we're going to draw this right here on the edge so i'm going to come out like so and develop this shape that kind of looks like a hammer so i'm going to come over here i'm going to curve this and you can see you can see the development now i'm going to widen this a little bit it's gonna look like something like that. Now this shape of the head is for hunting and for survival for these sharks. Now these sharks have been around 23 million years. Um, so they've been around forever and they also are in, a lot of the hammerheads are endangered species, unfortunately, uh, because they're over, they overfish in our oceans and um, it really takes down their population. So if you ever see a hammerhead, just leave it alone. So up here at the top right here, this is gonna be a little bit 3D. So I'm gonna make a curve that kind of looks like this. And I'm gonna get a darker pencil so you can see really well. Curve that kind of looks like this. And this right here is gonna be where one of the eyes is gonna be. So right here, I'm gonna make an eye of my hammerhead. It's kind of weird that their eyes are on the side of their faces. And a lot, they use this um, hammer part to go down to the bottom of the ocean and they, um, their favorite thing to eat is stingrays. So they hunt for stingrays to eat using this snout. So they're one of their favorite types of food. They also like shrimp, crabs. 
All right, so now we have that shape. Now I'm also gonna erase this part right now because I don't need this anymore either. Okay, so and when drawing this hammerhead, I'm going to draw very lightly. A, I'm, see, the body is kind of, we're kind of looking down at this hammerhead. We're looking down at it. So I'm gonna have the back of him curve like this. So this is a guideline right here. See how I'm drawing like that? I'm gonna develop the back fin on this curvature, okay? So let's move into some other parts of this fish. Let's do the back fin right now. And I'll really start bringing this so you can really start seeing that this is a shark. So to do the back fin, I'm gonna come up I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna curve. I'm gonna curve around. Now the top is gonna to be taller than the bottom part of the fin. Bottom part's gonna be like that. Okay, so now I have the back fin. Now what I'm gonna do with this hammerhead is I'm gonna move back about to here. It's about almost about halfway through this curvature. And this is gonna be the back fin, that fin of a shark that you see um, outside of the water when they're swimming. I'm gonna make it into a big fin. It's gonna come up. And it's gonna curve back. So see how that guideline really helped me make that fin? Because I'm looking down at this shark. And I'm gonna kind of curve like this. All right, so now we have our back fin. Now, we're also gonna have the fins that are on the sides of the body. So I'm gonna come down and about right here on the side of the body, I'm gonna come out with a side fin. Now, hammerheads, another really interesting thing about hammerheads is they have sensors on their, um, their, on their head, like in this area right here, and they can detect electrical signals from other animals. So they're, it's very interesting how you know, they survive and how they're made to detect other creatures and animals as they're swimming through our ocean. So all the sensors are up here. They live, these hammerheads live about 30 years. And when they give birth, they give birth, they call them pups, like puppies. And they give birth to about 50 hammerhead babies at a time. All right, so I'm gonna now gonna go to the other side directly. So we're gonna work across and we're gonna make the other fin on the other side of the body. So I'm gonna come through here, I'm gonna come out, and it's gonna be a little smaller because we're looking at it further away. So this is closer to us, so it's bigger. This is further away on the other side of the body, so it's a little smaller. All right, so we're gonna move down from this fin, and we're gonna create some back fins. There's one right here, they're small. Small fin, and there's another one small fin, okay? Move, remember how we made this guideline right here? This is gonna help us make the other fin, which is right here. So in total, we have one fin, two fin, three fin, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have quite a lot of fins on one shark. All right, so now we have a pretty good shape of this hammerhead. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase some guidelines, like this one, that helped us create the look of looking down at this fish. Okay, and we're gonna do a lot of shading today. Hammerheads also, um, they live in schools. So they live in large, large schools of nearly 500 sharks at once. And they migrate to warmer waters at different types of the year. They really like, um, 
They really like reefs, coral reef areas for hunting and surviving in. But when they hunt, they don't hunt as a team. They hunt all by themselves. So they'll stay in their schools, but when it's time to hunt, they will break off and hunt for their own food and then come back to their pod. So right about right here, we're going to see on the side of this hammerhead's body, we're gonna see its gills. So we're gonna make five gills right here on the side of the body. Okay, now it's time to do some shading. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start, I always like when I'm shading, I'm always looking to like, where shall I start? So I'm gonna start kind of under here and I'm gonna shade up. So I'm doing that, I'm using, um, I'm using the 6B pencil. I'm lightly gonna just come in here and add some shading right along here. Because we're looking at it this way. So this will be underneath it. It's gonna be a little darker underneath it. Come up. Okay, I'm also gonna shade in some of the fins now, that 6B. And I'm gonna add some shading into this side fin. So you can see that I'm like just kind of going around the edge here of this fin, like so. Leaving the middle part light so watch what happens now when I get my blending stick. I'm gonna come in. And shading is all about pressure. So if I want something to be really dark, I'm gonna push down on it really hard. And if I want something to be softer and lighter, I'm gonna lighten up on it with the pressure. So right here, I'm gonna go really light with the pressure, right? Really soft. And where I want it darker, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna push down harder. Okay, so I'm gonna also bring that blending stick. If you don't have blending sticks, ask for them. And if your parents say, what's a blending stick? Just look it up. They're fantastic. If you're learning to draw and making art, I, I always have to have one. Okay, so I'm just doing a little shading here, bringing that tone up. Nice and softly. All right, well, let's keep going with our shading. Now I'm gonna get that 6B pencil and I'm gonna come to the top, or the other side of my hammerhead, okay? Oops, I slipped, I'm gonna erase that. I'm gonna come over here, the other side, um, and I'm gonna darken this. Now everybody works differently. I have always been an artist that kind of works in sections. So I do section by section. And then I kind of pull it all together. All right, I'm gonna darken that fin. Here, darken this back little fin. Come and shade in this back, big back fin. And so what happens if you don't have a blending stick? You're gonna use your finger. The oils in your fingers work really well too. I don't think they work as well as a blending stick but they do the trick. There. Um, 
One second, I have to grab my blending stick. It fell, it fell. There it is, found it. These things roll pretty easily. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to shade and work on my shading. And I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and time lapse and you're gonna watch me finish this and then you're gonna go and give it a try. So here I go. Okay, we're back. So I did a lot of different kinds of um, shading throughout this as you watched me go through this. I also, as you noticed, I used the eraser. Like if things get too dark, I always, you can always go out and I kind of go in a circle motion and I can erase out anything that's too dark. Like if up here I wanted to add more lightness, I can just go and softly kind of going in circles, erase out to get the desired look. So that's why I always say have an eraser handy because eraser is used in shading. And always like, if you right now I'm like, you know what, I really wanna just soften this up. I'm using my, my finger to do that. My fingers look crazy, but I just get in here with my finger too and the blending stick and it, you kind of, the fun part about sketching is you kind of like, re it really becomes like you're all in with it. You know, your fingers are in it. You're, you're going in different directions. It's really fun to get into. Um, sometimes I go like, I'll go one direction when I'm shading and then I'll go the opposite direction to build the tones darker. That's called cross hatching. So that's also really cool and learning how to shade and draw. Um, and the reason why hammerheads are some of my favorite sharks is because when I was a little kid, I was like fifth grade, I was snorkeling in Catalina Island. And I, when I was snorkeling, a hammerhead, a six foot hammerhead showed up and everybody got so scared and, and, went, and went out of the water and I didn't, I just stayed there fascinated by this hammerhead and watched it, I also knew that hammerhead sharks were not really aggressive towards humans, so I wasn't that worried about it. But I was just so excited and thrilled to see this hammerhead in person that it's like one of my fondest memories. So, you know, that was just why I've always really liked hammerheads. And I hope you guys like drawing um, this hammerhead and sharks in general. And I hope you have a fantastic week. And take care. Bye-bye.